Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Sello. This is Jeremiah S.J. Mamonero. I just want to give you a quick tutorial about how to handle the virtual showings. So typically we want to start outside. Um, I'll edit that video in here. But we want to start outside with a curb appeal shot uh, of the, the neighborhood, the exterior of the home, what the street scene looks like because that's important to buyers. We will then come inside, okay? Come inside and I'm actually holding the, the phone horizontally, which is landscape instead of portrait because uh, we're more than likely going to be doing these virtual showings via Zoom, and so we'd want that full screen action. All right, and now we're going to, I'm going to flip it around the other way and give you a couple quick tips as we go. All right, so we're here. I came in through the door, and we'll plan the route ahead of time as far as which way you should be going, uh, but second tip would be to go in and close all the blinds and turn on all the lights that you can, Okay. So I'm gonna come through, I'm gonna turn on all the lights. And then as we come into all the different rooms, stand in each corner. So here's, I have a wide angle lens on my phone. So if you have a wide angle lens, uh, make sure that you have it set for that. I can always drop one off for you. You can see the difference. That's a standard lens, that's a wide angle lens. So I would actually stand in opposite corners of the room as we're showing this. And then I would go, okay, here's our kitchen shot. Right, so I'm backing up into the corner, and then I'll do it the other way in opposite corners. But just you will try to show it the way you would look at it if you were a person. Right, and then this house, I'm going to come in here, turn to the left. Okay, in the bathroom, we don't necessarily have to go in and turn on all the, you know, the sinks and make sure that. But I would come in here, go like this, check out the surround. And again, I would go in and probably close all the blinds to the windows because what can happen sometimes is the natural light from the window can actually, uh, it'll focus on the natural light in the window make the room seem darker. I have a newer phone, so it's a little bit better. You can see here, I'll come in here and then I'll go to the opposite corner, swing around like this. Okay, so walk in, go to the opposite corner. And typically, like this home doesn't have a finished basement, but keep in mind it's a virtual showing, so we're gonna wanna come down, look at this. Okay, look at all the corners of the basement because you never know, right? The windows over here. I'm gonna look at the plumbing. And then we go to the mechanics. Okay, so just try to, we'll try to keep the flow going however you'd walk around in the circle. And then come over here, this is where the panel box is. Open that up. Okay, check that out. And then we're gonna walk upstairs. Ta-da, I'm magically upstairs. Okay, and again in this home, we got like a two sides. This is a Cape Cod. And see how if the light's not on, this room looks dark. Let there be light. And there was light. Okay, and I come over here and I would go again, opposite corner. You know, buyer's agent, buyer might ask us questions as we walk through. So feel free to stop and answer those questions. And here we have another bathroom. Again, we do have some natural light, which is nice coming from the, you know, if you can have your back against the window and use the natural light to your advantage, that's also good. Try to avoid loud fans. Try to keep toilet seat covers shut. Hope that helps. Uh, this is Jeremiah J. Man Monero. Again, just, uh, you know, these are unprecedented times. I get it that you've probably never done this when selling a home. But uh, we're doing everything that we can to make sure that people are safe and make sure that they can see the inside of the home. And we truly appreciate uh, you going above and beyond for this. Jeremiah and Jamie Monero, make it a great day.